The purpose of this video is to explain the working principle of PhysioDrain and why it has the following characteristics. It does not require vacuum. It allows the lung expansion quickly. Doesn't need to milking repeatedly. Enables faster recovery from air leak. The lung is covered by a membrane called pleura, which is composed of two layers. The outer layer is called the parietal pleura and is in contact with the thoracic cavity. The inner layer is called the visceral pleura and is in contact with the lung. Between the visceral pleura and the parietal pleura there is the pleural space that has a thin layer of liquid as a lubricant to reduce the impact during breathing movements. The pleural space forms a closed system and this layer of liquid transmits the diaphragm movements to the lung, causing it to expand and contract. As the lung tissue is elastic, it tries to resist these movements and generates a negative pressure within the pleural space that varies between minus 4 to minus 8 cm A2O. When a pneumothorax happens, the pleural space is invaded by air, losing the negative pressure. The connection between the visceral and parietal pleuras is lost, and the diaphragm can no longer control the lung movements, making breathing difficult. To re-establish normal lung functioning, it is necessary to re-establish the negative pressure by removing air from the pleural space. The most common way to do this is to place a chest drain inside the space and connect it to a bottle with water seal. With each exhalation, the diaphragm rises and expels the air through the drain. On inhalation, the diaphragm gets down and pulls the lung, expanding it. Ideally, the cycle would continue until all the air in the pleural space exits, re-establishing the negative pressure and the total expansion of the lung. At the end of the drainage, the pressure generated by the compression of the air remaining in the pleural space and in the drain is not enough to allow passage through the water seal. This air is retained in the pleural space. Let us see why. On exhalation, the diaphragm rises and compresses the air inside the pleural space, increasing the pressure and expelling the air through the water seal. This provokes what we call the opening pressure, which in the beginning of the procedure is approximately 2 cm A2O, the minimum recommended water level. As the volume in the bottle increases, the opening pressure increases. During inhalation, the water seal works as a backflow valve. However, due to its features part of the air in the drain returns to the pleural space. At the end of the drainage, the pressure generated to expel the remaining air from the pleura is not enough to overcome the opening pressure of the water seal. The use of the water seal system makes the drainage longer and does not allow the full expansion of the lung. The physio drain system has an opening pressure very near to zero and there is no backflow. Any upward movement of the diaphragm provokes drainage and any downward movement expands the lung. Drainage is faster and more efficiently, allowing full lung expansion in less time.